Hi, it's Jill from Jilly Bean Studio. I hope you can join me today for some fun making whimsical house tags. Welcome to the channel or welcome back. I'm glad you're here. So lots on the desk as, as usual lately and a good cup of hot tea. So I hope you can join me with a cup of something you enjoy. I'm gonna go through today a lot of this and that starting out with uh, a little bit of ketchup in the journals only uh, for about a half a minute but this is my December journal it is in a little pen and gear notebook I'm very excited friends I found a cookbook with green typed text perfect for the holiday season if you celebrate Christmas like I do I have my 12 dancing princesses art journal or altered book ready to be worked in this winter and then finally I want to thank Dina who suggested last video for my November journal to put that little elastic on instead of the string <laughs> thanks Dina that was really bugging me as a closure so if you care to see anything about those journals uh, please go back. I'll link them in the description box below and you can check those out. I also want to share before I get into the whimsical tags that I do have these free printables. They are in my Kofi app. I will also link those in the description box below. So I have some sun, moon, and stars, which is a little bit of a reissue, and then some holiday for the um, Christmas holiday season, which I celebrate. Okay, let's jump into some art play. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun, and I am gonna call this the buffet, friends. <laughs> Cause this truly is a sampler, a little bit of this and that. So let me tell you about this. Caroline on the hillside, I love her channel. She tagged me in a fun challenge called tag your turn. So I have played with some ideas over the last few days and in the video I'm going to share them with you so you can see just a variety of things that you might want to do and these are all fresh picked from the Dollar Tree friends. <laughs> so I'm going to use a lot of boxes today and uh, this is actually the side of the box I'm going to use some of my printables as you see there again you can print those out too this is isn't this a cutie this is a top of one of those shirt gift boxes and then yes uh, in this buffet approach I decided to the more I looked at these tags that uh, some I found at the Dollar Tree actually the one um, there's a couple I'll show you. The one on the far right right now with the snowflakes is one. I really got into um, the shape of them. So they are called luggage tags, and I will dig them out of my stash in a minute. But the more I looked at them, the more I thought, you got it. <laughs> I thought houses. They have sort of this elongated shape. And then, because again, I have so many things this week that were fresh picked from the Dollar Tree, I decided I am going to play with this idea for holiday and then also just everyday journaling tags. So I really got into this over the last few days. And this one is done by that tissue box I showed you a moment ago and using some different markers that would actually work on the you know how it has a, like a slick surface a lot of boxes so I use sharpies some gel pens some Posca paint pens and the uh, Sun and Moon and star printables and I really like that look at that they stand up and some metallic gel pens I'm really enjoying the metallics lately so whatever you have in your stash in on hand that you think that would write on a little shinier surface and then I did mod podge it after I let it dry for um, overnight 
All right. So again, <laughs> the buffet approach today. This one was one I played with just yesterday. And I found this adorable box at, again, our local Dollar Tree. And then in a junk bin um, that I was searching through. Yes, junk journaling friends. <laughs> oh, some hot tea. Thank you. I found this old cookbook. I think the it was one of those like a, a PTO or a school produced and it has green text. So that was a lot of fun and I'm going to show you how to use that in just a few minutes to make a roof. But before I get there, I just want to show you a few more examples that I tried out this last week. And all of these, I think it's whatever you have in your stash, are really simple supplies, easy to do. So I happen to have a pretty full stash of washi tape. So I decided to take uh, one of the tags and do washi tape and then staple it with that Tim Holtz tiny attacher and then just use some cardstock to make a tri-fold. And isn't that cute? Did a little quick cursive there. And on the other side, outlined it. And this would be just a great little journaling card. I really like that as a journaling card. And then under the little house, I ended up actually using the cardstock over the little house tag that I made. So now it became a little pocket. Let me just stick this scrap in there. And I glued the tag over so that we have a simple little pocket. So really quick, easy to make. This one is the same sort of idea using the washi tape, but instead I used a little bit of trim and a little bit of that green text book page to make the door. Perfect find for this time of year. And then this little bit of trim. I can't believe I found this old cookbook in a junk bin. All were freebies. And yeah, I'm really happy about that. <laughs> And then this little cute bit of tissue from, again, the Dollar Tree, did a little pit stop over the last week, has those cute little presents on it. So I put a tiny one by the door. So I'm really liking those. Just some more ideas for tag your turn. A manila folder is a great base for that as well. The boxes, a tissue box. Look at that print. I love it. The whale, the little space theme, using gel pens, Posca paint pens, this adorable box. We may have a lot of these now if you celebrate the holiday season in December. And a lot of little things from the stash that you simply just want to use up. So for me, I always, oh yeah, and this is a huge one. I forgot about this. I took the box and decided to enlarge it. And are you thinking what I'm thinking? That definitely could be even a little uh, whimsical house journal. So lots of ideas. That's why I'm feeling <laughs> the art play buffet. It's a whole lot of this and that today. So what I thought I would do is work on a few more tags with you. I hope you can grab some supplies and journal along a bit. I would also love to know your ideas, your favorite things that you enjoy making different tags. I found that simply decorating these Dollar Tree tags, and let me find them. I'm going to have to dig them out of my stash in a minute. They, uh, again, they call them luggage tags. And just when it, again, when you look at 
the shape of something, it sometimes just sparks, I don't know, a little, I guess uh, a squirrel moment for me. <laughs> I just looked at it and thought, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go to town here with this idea of making a bunch of different tag houses. So where are these tags? This is typically what I do. I have my big scrap box. Here we go. I knew they were somewhere on the desk. Where is always a, a question, but usually my scrap bin is the first place to look. So these are the luggage tags. And I think what you get about 25 for the holidays. They're actually rather thin. I would say they're a very lightweight of, of a cardstock. And you get all these cute little holiday patterns. So let me pull this one out too. And it was something about how the luggage tag shape, how elongated they were when it came to the top angled corners that got me going on this whimsical house theme. And then of course, I love making printables. So again, those are free in my Kofi app, just pop in zero and it is linked below if you celebrate the holidays or you wanna use the sun, moon and stars. And I thought, yeah, let's just, let's just decorate. So that is what has been happening on the desk the last few days. And I thought right now we do a little bit more decorating and then we'll get into making the trifold if you want to actually attach your tags. So here I have some of the Christmas printables and I'm just gonna cut out I think a few on the right hand side I've used already some of the ornament ones and then a lot of the gel gel pens like the one on the right I really enjoy using the Uniball Signo gel pen I have it in silver I think I have three colors actually silver gold and white so I did a little bit of doodling some hearts, some swirls. So that one was really easy because that tag was pretty much right out of the Dollar Tree package. And I just did a little bit of gluing and doodling over it. And then in the middle, I have one of the sweet little gingerbread girls and one of the ornaments from the printable. And then the little Christmas tree. And I also use just plain cardstock, which is another easy way to do this. And oh yeah, I have, I like this, um, these prints. Uh, yeah, guess what? <laughs> okay, I did a pretty big haul at the Dollar Tree over the last week. Those adorable snack bags or gift bags are great. Um, I guess they're all... Well, I don't know. They're all different fonts, but I love this peppermint candy one. And anyway, I cut that cardstock light pastel pink in the same shape as these luggage tags. And, and there you go. So I guess it's whatever you have in your stash. Any bit of paper will do. And you could do, I'm a gal who likes a pattern with her pattern so <laughs> as you probably can already tell but you could definitely do these with a uh, regular cardstock that is plain or or a certain color with the manila folders or really any paper that you have on hand i love these little gingerbread girls they are also a a reprint from last year. I did them in a slightly different way and I decided to bring them back and do them just a little bit smaller. I don't know about you, but when things are are tiny, <laughs> they're just so cute. So I did a tinier version. I'm gonna go in with the gel pen now. I think I might try a couple colors there's already a little, I don't know how well you can see it, a silver dot. 
And I'm just going to go around and outline that. I don't know. It looks festive to me. Maybe like bubbles. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I love to draw and doodle. I find it really relaxing. Now I'm running the gel pen over that little scrap piece of paper because I do find, and this one right now is actually kind of bugging me, it's skipping a little bit. Every once in a while you have to give them a good roll here. I'm, I'm going over it again now. And as you can probably tell, I often speed up the video just a tiny bit so that we don't go through all of the cutting and gluing and all of that. So. All right, let's see, what do we have here? Oh yeah, the package comes with a lot of the little ribbon and string, and I have uh, different bits on my desk right now. But in the end, I don't know, just because it was a house, I really, and I was mostly playing with trifolds over this last week, I decided not to put any ribbon through the tags, but you certainly could. You can do that if they're trifolds, but you could also leave them, of course, as single tags. So I want to do another shout out again. Thank you, Carrie. This is Carrie at the Paper Monkey. Her challenge, she I think it's a great idea. Tag your turn. Carrie is new to me, and now I subscribe to her channel. And I've also checked out the playlist for Tag Your Turn. It ends up being already, I don't know, probably more than a dozen channels for sure that have played and have all different styles and all different tags and also all different channels to check out. So that has been a lot of fun already. I thank Caroline for tagging me. And yes, I am going to tag for the next person, Patty. So Patty also is local to New England. She, we actually both live in the state of Connecticut. Patty's channel is amazing. I think she posts almost every day. She has sketchbooks and junk journals and the Dirt Road Diaries. And oh my goodness, Patty has so much on her channel. So check her out. And that is at Just Journaling with Possum Patty. And again, all that information will be in the description box below. So you can click the link and check out all the wonderful channels. I'm really excited to do this challenge. Thank you again, Caroline and Carrie for your inspiration. And I look forward to see what Patty's going to come up with because she is uh, always doing something creative and fun and you just never know. I love that about this journaling community and junk journalers. It's always everybody has their own take on things so this is a lot of fun. Going in with the pinking shears now and that book text which is actually a recipe book again from I think a school and a PTO and was about it was in the 1980s I think 1986 so friends this is it was really typed <laughs> this isn't the cool pick your font and use the typewriter font this is actually typed so I love it and just making a little bit of the roof with a little bit of the trim for the house. And as I play around with this, I'm not sure what really goes with what yet. If, um, I don't know, I have four of them there. Am I going to do a quadruple fold? I'm not sure. I just feel like playing today. And I also wanted to just give you a lot of different options that I enjoyed over the week to think about and see what you have in your stash. So I'm gonna grab a door this time. I think that's cute. And this is the 
Dollar Tree box, but it's the side, it's the borders of the box. Another little gingerbread gal. I trimmed that up a little bit more, it looked, there we are. Yeah, I think that's sweet. I do have this pom-pom trim. That might work. Not sure yet. But I think you get the idea. And really, I just want to, I want to put in a plug for chimneys. <laughs> As I started to make these, the moment I put the chimneys on, I felt they were more finished. So if you're doing these, oh yes, mm. loving this hot tea, this cold winter. We actually, here in New England, got a little bit of a snow flurry this morning. Tiny taste of winter. So yeah, I go for those chimneys. For some reason, they really, to me, finished up the look of the whimsical house tag. Okay, now this is going to be a little tricky. <laughs> Probably should have thought about this a little more first, but I'm going to use these guest checks because I simply like the colors and the idea of using these tags, a little bit of glue in there, these tags for writing on. I write very often in my journals. I don't journal every single day. I journal a few times a week, but I love documenting the everyday things. And I really am a jotter. I do notes. I don't write long entries, but I do, I do like to document the everyday stuff. So I'm thinking here that I'm just going to use the lines in these guest checks because I like the colors. A little bit of a pastel-ish green. And I'm going to put this on the back to now make the trifold. But at the same time, I have to line up the lines a little bit. I guarantee they will be a bit wonky as that ten. Yep, there we go. <laughs> as that tends to be me. But these are whimsical houses, right? Yeah, so it, they're not exact, but I think it's a cute way to make a trifold journaling tag going to trim off all this excess and for the most part I use glue stick I do have a white glue if I felt I needed it and I do also have Fabri-Tac on hand but I feel like with the printables you're a little bit better off with the glue stick and maybe with some of the cardboard elements, you might be better off with the white glue or a Fabri-Tac, the heavier. Okay, whoops, there we go. All right, let's see if we can fold this gel. The glue's a little bit wet. I don't usually like to fold quite yet, but we're gonna do this to just show the tri-fold option. So please let me know what you're enjoying, what kind of tags you like to make. I think we're in pretty good shape. Sort of has a bit of a seam in the middle. I don't know if I'll add something to that, but that's okay. I think we're good. And the nice thing is these stand up. So I'm thinking with the holiday season, they could actually even be cute little displays if you, if you make gingerbread style houses or something like that. They would look cute just propped up on a bookcase or maybe a little shelf. This is the washi tape example. I always put a little bit of glue stick down when I put washi tape. This is the big old one and I love this. I'm thinking it might even be a whimsical house journal. And all I did was simply make make it larger, nothing nothing fancy there, just follow the same shape. Here's our tissue box ones with the winter 
Sun, Moon, and Stars printable. Did use a little Mod Podge on that. And then the washi tape with a little bit of cardstock. I have the trifold and the single one with a little bit of trim. Cute. My recipe book that I pulled out of a junk bin that I'm in love with now. Gel pens, paint pens, and holiday printables. All good art fun. I hope that you got some ideas here in this little art play buffet. So happy that you stopped by the channel. I really appreciate it. And thanks again. Happy journaling to you.